Hey guys, it's Tavy, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I am bringing you guys a new DIY. I'm gonna teach you guys how to make your own hand chain bracelets. These are super cute and super easy to make. I'm gonna show you guys how to make a simple one like this, how to make them adjustable. Then I'm gonna show you at the very end, a more elaborate triple chain hand bracelet. So if anything like me and you like gold jewelry and you wanna know how to make your own, just keep watching. So the first thing you're gonna need are chains. You can use any kind of chain, preferably gold, as long as it's three millimeters and smaller. I have in front of me a variety of different chains that I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna post some links down below of where I got my chains from. I got a majority of my chains from Amazon, so you guys can definitely find them. I have a large collection because I love hardware. You're also going to need jump rings. Now these are different sizes from very, very small to very large. And you're also gonna need lobster claws or lobster claws because the bracelet we're gonna make today is adjustable so that it doesn't fall off of your wrist. I have a very small wrist, so I'm gonna show you guys how to make the bracelet, but I'm also going to show you guys how to attach a lobster claw so that you can adjust your bracelet to fit you or someone else. I have a lot of lobster claws, they look like this. And I have some in here, and I have some extra jump rings. We're gonna be working with the smallest size jump rings. On this case, that would be a number 12. Okay, you're gonna need a measuring tape because your bracelet is custom to your measurements. So you're gonna need to know how wide you need the chain to be for your wrist as well as your finger. Not only will you need to know the measurement of your wrist and the measurement of your middle finger, but you're also going to need to know the distance from your wrist to your finger or whichever finger it is you want to wear the chain bracelet on. You're also gonna need baby scissors. I like to hold on to my jump rings with a baby scissor and pliers, so this will come in handy. You're going to also need wire cutters as well as some type of plier or pinchers. These are gonna help you have a good grip on the jump rings. You can also use tweezers if you have those handy. So the first thing you're gonna do is take your measuring tape and measure your wrist to find out how big the chain needs to be around so that you can fit your hand through it. I got a measurement of eight inches, so I know I need to cut chain that's gonna fit that amount. Usually cut your chain a bit larger, just in case you make a mistake. So I'm gonna need one chain that's eight inches long. You're also gonna to wanna to get the measurement of your finger. Mine was a three. You're gonna wrap the measuring tape around where you feel comfortable. And if I stop on three, I can push my finger through with no problem. So I know I'm also going to need to cut chain that is three inches long. Next, you're gonna to need to know the measurement from your finger to your wrist. The measurement I get is about three and a half to where the base of my finger is. Okay, now you know your three measurements. So now you're gonna decide which one of these chains you wanna use for the base of your bracelet. I'm going to start with these. This is a very simple cable chain. I think this is about 2.5 millimeter, if I'm not mistaken. So you're gonna unwind it, and with your measuring tape, you're gonna measure about eight inches so you can get your wrist measurement. When you find the eight inches, just give yourself a little extra room and then with your chain cutter, cut the chain. Okay, so this is going to be for my wrist. At this point, you can test it out and hold it in place and try to fit your hand through. Then you know you picked the good size. Next, you wanna cut the chain for the base of your finger as well as the chain that connects your wrist to the base of your finger. For my finger, I measured three inches earlier, so I'm just going to take the measuring tape again and I'm going to measure three inches. And I'm gonna come up a little bit and I'm gonna take my chain cutter and I'm gonna cut it. And you can also test it out with your finger. Goes through with no issue. Okay, you're gonna take that and put that to the side. And lastly, for the base of your bracelet, you're going to cut the measurement that you took from your wrist to the base of your finger. Now that you have all three measurements, you can pretty much start building a basic chain hand bracelet. So your next step is to close the wrist and close the finger. To do that, you're going to need two jump rings. Now this is when your pliers come in. Hold it on one end and take your baby scissors or tweezers and attach and hold it on the other end. And you're just gonna slowly bend this open. 
Once it's open, you can either decide to close your wrist or close your finger. Make sure you keep these in order so you don't forget which piece is which. So you're just going to attach the jump ring to both ends of the wrist chain and close it. It's very hard to see that, but you're gonna basically close it up. Once the jump ring is on there, you're going to take your flat pliers and you're going to pinch it closed. Okay, so now you have a wrist component. At this point, before continuing, you have an option. You can either leave the wrist component like this, or you can open this back up and you can attach a lobster claw to make this adjustable. I'm gonna do that part now so that we don't have to do it later. You can keep watching this part or you can skip ahead to the time signature that I'm gonna put in the description to see how to finish the rest of the bracelet. This is unadjustable. However, if you wanna make it so that you can open and close it, make it tighter on your wrist, I'm going to attach a lobster claw. You're going to open up the bracelet. I don't wanna open up the jump ring that I just closed. Take the cutter and I'm going to cut the chain that it's on. So now it's open again. Now that this one is open, we're going to attach it to the other end of that bracelet. So now the jump ring is on, you can now attach a lobster claw. Okay, before I move on to finishing the bracelet, I'm gonna show you guys how to make this even more adjustable. You already added the lobster claw and you still have a jump ring on this end. To make this easy to close on your wrist, first hold it together and put your wrist through. Once you do that, figure out how much space you have free. I have about an inch free of space here. And if I want my bracelet to be very secure on my wrist, all I have to do is lay the bracelet out flat, take your measuring tape and measure in about an inch. At that point, you want to take your cutter and break this chain again and replace the link with another jump ring and then reconnect the chain. Okay, so now that piece is broken off. And then this is the rest of the chain. So now there's a space there. You wanna reconnect your wrist chain. So you're just gonna take another jump ring and you're just going to replace it. So now this is your finished wrist component to your bracelet. It now has an extra link and you should still be able to slide your bracelet on with no issue. Again, this section of the tutorial is optional. This is just if you want your bracelet to fit you perfectly and not slide off. If you're happy with the way that the wrist of the bracelet fits, you are now ready to complete the rest of the bracelet. So now I'm gonna close up the chain that's supposed to go around the base of my finger. It's just the same as X steps as before. You're gonna need one jump ring. Once you have both ends of your finger chain inside of the jump ring, you're not gonna close it up. You're going to take the chain that connects your finger to your wrist. You're going to attach that to the jump ring as well. So just put that onto the jump ring. Now you can close it. So now you have the chain for the base of your finger attached to the chain that connects your wrist to the base of your finger. It should look like this. Okay, so first I'm gonna go and get another jump ring to connect this hand chain to my wrist. So at this point, you can pretty much stop here. But if you wanna look similar to this one, I'm now gonna show you guys how to add to this one. Notice that the lengths are different. This is a much shorter chain. You are free to cut this one down to make it smaller if you want it to fit more like this. So I'm going to trim a few chains down before I get to showing you guys how to make a three chain hand brace. I'm using a bracelet I made before as a reference so that I can make sure the measurements are closer. So now they're about the same. So now that I fixed the middle according to my hand measurement, I'm now gonna show you guys how to make chains on either side. So first what you're gonna do is make sure your bracelet is centered on your hand. This is your center point. You're gonna look on either side of this jump ring and you're pretty much gonna count an even amount of links on either side. Whatever amount of links equals about an inch, that's where you're you're gonna put another jump ring. For me, that equals about 11 or 12 links. So you're gonna count out about 11 or 12 links out this way and 11 or 12 links out this way. Not only will you need a jump ring for those places, you're also going to need two jump rings for your finger base. Once you pick out your jump rings, the next thing you're going to do is take another measurement. So you're going to go out about an inch, four inches. Now. You pretty much want the jump rings to be an even amount from the center point that's on the base of your finger. So for here, I have jump rings that are about four lengths apart on either side. Earlier, I used these chains. I think I wanna switch. I think I'm gonna use these chains now. These were the chains I used before, and now I'm gonna be using these chains so you can see the difference. I just think using a different chain design just makes your bracelet look more unique and very pretty. I'm 
going to now attach side chains one at a time. So I'm gonna take my new chain that I cut and I'm going to add a jump ring to it. I'm going to grab the finger part of my bracelet. I'm gonna count four links and then I'm gonna attach it. Now that it's attached to the side of the finger base, I'm going to put on the other jump ring. Next, I'm gonna take the jump ring and just attach it to one of the sides of the wrist chain. And then I'm going to close it. So once it's attached, it should look a little bit like this. Now you're just gonna repeat the same process on the other side. I'm gonna go off camera and finish the other side and then I will come back when my bracelet is complete. See, this is the difference when you have a clasp versus no clasp. Thank you all for watching today's video. I had so much fun filming it for you all and I'm super excited to have these new additions to my jewelry collection. Leave a comment down below if you like this video and if you're interested in seeing me make any other jewelry. For more DIY videos, please subscribe to my channel and that bell so you never miss a day when I post. Thank you so much for supporting my channel and I will see you all next week.